Every so often, you get a film that seems to be so out there in its story that those not in the know will either say, well, that was stupid. It made no sense. Or, yeah, everyone in that movie was absolutely bonkers. Those in the know are either chuckling while crying on the inside that they are watching a film that makes fun of the world that we live in and the crazy people that sadly exist today. Welcome to another episode of the Popcorn Confessional, and this is Dave from Nerdbox, and I'm accompanied by my wife, Jen, also from Nerdbox. And on this episode, we are talking about Don't Look Up. So fire up that Jiffy Pop and meet us in the booth. Astronomer Kate DiBiaschi discovers a comet while studying dead stars in the solar system. When she presents her discovery to her mentor, Dr. Mindy, it turns out that she discovered more than a comet. The comet is a planet buster or a planet killer, and it's on a direct collision course with Earth. When they try to warn the world, they are met with resistance and a lot of laughs. Either it's not good for the president's poll numbers, does not get enough likes on social media, or it's just fake news. Wow. Talk about looking in the mirror. And like I said in the opening monologue there, people are just not going to get that they're totally talking about all the current events Mm -hmm. that are going on in this world today. And it's a satire, dark comedy, and I almost feel guilty for laughing at how stupid the politicians were and the people in the media were, because it's all true! It's all freaking true! And instead of having a virus or a pandemic, we have a comet that is plummeting towards the planet, and everybody has six months and 14 days until they're dead. Yes. Yes. And we should get it right out there that some people, you're going to be insulted. It's just, you know, because people are insulted by everything these days. No, no, you know, there's going to be a very few amount of people that are going to be insulted. The other one's like, oh, I agree with that. Every yes, single word. But there are going to be people insulted. I'm but just the, warning you now. The people that are going to say, that, oh, I agree with it. Not every single word. They're going to be the people that are denying everything that's happening today. Because that happens all the time. Well, of course. Of course. That's the way, that's the world in which we live. So, Mm -hmm. yes, they are going to deny and they're just going to be like, yeah, that's exactly what happens in the world, but not right now. Now, this movie stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence. I've kind of got tired of Jennifer Lawrence because another actress that was like, oh, Jennifer Lawrence did really good. Now, let's put her in every single movie that comes out. Drama, comic book movies horror movies, all this other stuff. And it's like, I don't want to see your face for some time. Just go away. If you're in a movie, I'm not going to watch it. So, Well, we haven't seen her in a while. I, so. We <laughs> didn't want to see her face and she moved on. Like, oh, she's in a, No, just go. And she's a great actress. It's just sometimes oversaturation of an actor or an actress just tends to turn you off. Don't want to see them too often. Yeah. I'm glad I saw her on this. She yeah. did good. Yeah. Not as good as Leo. Leo did amazing in this Leo movie. Leo and his, his dad bod and his total dad ways. <laughs> it is an excellent performance by him because he was a different range of characters throughout this entire film. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, and the movie also has Jonah Hill, uh, yes. which we haven't seen him in a while. Mm-hmm. I think he was busy losing weight, so we haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> Classic prick Jonah Hill. So if yeah, you like him, absolutely. He, he pulls it off great. I he wonder does. if he's like that in real life. I That's don't know. Spot on. Meryl Streep, mm-hmm. Kate Blanchett, and Tyler Perry. It's not an end. That's just what we're saying. There's a lot more people in this movie, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was actually looking at the cast. And I was surprised at some of the names that we didn't recognize in the movie that are in this film. Yeah. So. Yeah, I had quite... A cast going for it. And guess what? It's another Netflix film. It is. It's just such a good movie. Looking at how crazy the world is and how self-absorbed we've gotten into social media. Mm -hmm. 
So you have the two of them, they're, they're, they go to Washington, they're trying to convince the president that there's an issue, it's not the right time in the midterm election year, so they get shoved off, then they try it through the media, and they go get major news outlets and newspapers, and as soon as their social media status plummets, they get the boot, and then... And they get arrested. And they, yes. <laughs> Yes, they do. Bad so, kid. <laughs> yeah. And then when it comes time that the politicians need them because they need to save their own campaign asses, then they bring them back. And then you have little scenarios that play out. There is even a, not Bill Gates. There is even a Jobs guy in this movie. It's so, not. It's not meant to be Steve Jobs. He doesn't know anything about Apple. It's meant to be Tim Cook. I don't know who the hell he is. He's the person who essentially runs Apple now since Steve Jobs is oh. dead. <laughs> so you you have even shots at iPhones and all that technology as yes. well. So the movie hits on everything. It's smart. If you liked Idiocracy, did I say that right? Idiocracy. Yes. If you liked Idiocracy, you're definitely going to love this film. And if you don't go see it in the theaters, at least it's coming to Netflix very soon. So you get a chance yeah. to watch it. Something I would uh, definitely watch again and buy. Yeah, I would watch it too. I mean, I laugh my ass off. And, you know, I did laugh at, you know, all the similarities to what's going on in the world today because it was really easy to sit there and be like, oh, that's who that person is. That's mm -hmm. who that person is. Because, unfortunately, this is the world we live right now. And they were portraying very real people, but in a satirical way. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the best parts still is Jonah Hill constantly walking around holding his mother's handbag <laughs> his mother is the president is yes played and by meryl she street is a female. <laughs> yes <laughs> she is a female and she's terrible at it and jonah hill just carries her purse everywhere because he has not cut the umbilical cord <laughs> there is a mid-credit and after-credit scene yes you wouldn't expect it with this film but there is so stay around for those credits they are funny now what did you rate this one I'm going to give this one an A. I am there too. Back to back A's. <laughs> this better not be setting us up for a C Spider-Man. I will flip my shit. <laughs> if I see Venom showing up in the middle of Spider-Man, I'm liable to walk the hell out of the theater and be all pissed off because I know what Sony does to these last parts in the Spider-Man films. So you're on, you're on notice. <laughs> anyway, this is the 99th movie review that we have done. It is the 100th episode because we have a little mini video in between these. So that means the next review is going to be pretty special because not only is it Spider-Man, but it is number 100 in the reviews. And we'll have an announcement probably before the show or before that review, after the review, maybe in the review and after and before i don't know we're gonna do something but you have to tune in to see it so don't forget to like subscribe turn on the notifications and share yes please share and we'll see you on number 100 see ya see ya